Hello and welcome to the Wallace Collection. Now London is especially rich in these small museums filled with great masterpieces and the Wallace is one of the best of them. I mean they've got extraordinary things here like Titian's Perseus and Andromeda where she needs to be saved and he's here to save her. The Swing by Fragonard is another favourite. Such a naughty picture with its hidden implications. Then there are these great canalettos, these sun-drenched views of Venice. Such wonderful paintings. The Wallace has got two of them. Uh, this one's especially good, but just beyond it, where this sword in a frame now hangs, this is where usually the most famous painting in the Wallace collection can be found. But it's not here now, because it's got its own show downstairs. It is, of course, The Laughing Cavalier by Franz Hals. A painting everybody knows of a cheerful chap in a flamboyant costume and a face that seems full of fun. So we're getting exclusive access to this dazzling exhibition full of portraits by Franz Hals. Now, of course, the Laughing Cavalier is the star of the show, but just feast your eyes on all these other fellows here. Because the exhibition is devoted solely to Franz Hals's portraits of men. And that's because he was an especially interesting portrayer of men. I recognise this fellow here because he usually hangs uh, in Kenwood House in Hampstead Heath. I used to see him quite a lot during the lockdown when Kenwood House reopened. And his name is Peter von den Broeke, and he was apparently an admiral in the Dutch East Indias Company. And according to legend, I don't know if this is true or not, he was actually the first man to bring coffee back to Europe. But what is amazing here, and what no other portrait painter was doing at the time, is just capturing this real sense of what Peter van der Broeke was like. I mean, look at his hair. It needs a comb, frankly. And this rather unkempt moustache and goatee. You know, people usually go to portrait painters to be flattered, to be made to look more handsome than they are. But you don't get that with Franz House. With Franz House, you go to him and you come out alive. He painted you as the real you. I like him. He's the brewer, Nicholas von Furholt. Now, Harlem, where Franz House came from, was famous for two things. It's, it's a city that made its money both in brewing and in textiles. And this fabulous portrait seems to encapsulate both those things, doesn't it? Look at that face. I mean, that's the face of a brewer, if ever I saw one. And look at that wonderful slashing satin doublet he's wearing. I love the way, too, that House pushes his people right under our noses. So the way he's holding his hand, his arm sticking out like that, straight into us, it involves you and pulls you in. That's one of the features of House's portraiture, that everybody is different. At the end of the show, there's a little section which they call The Bachelors. So these are all the people that House painted who never got married or who weren't married when he painted them. And this one here, Jaspers Harda, his name is. You can see what an arrogant type he is, I think. This guy came from a fashionable Utrecht family and apparently he was obsessed with clothes. So he would spend absolute fortune on the clothes that he wore. And you can see that here, can't you? Not just the way House has picked out this extraordinary flashing doublet that he's wearing, but just look at the expression on his face. What an arrogant bloke that is. 
I mean, there's something about him that just makes you want to grab him by the nose and squeeze him, don't you think? To the Laughing Cavalier we go. I mean, this is such a fun picture. It doesn't surprise me at all that it's become one of the most famous paintings in the world. It was bought by the fourth Marquess of Hartford, who was the man who essentially founded the Wallace Collection. And he bought it in a sale in Paris in the middle of the 19th century. And the thing about it was, it was estimated to, to be worth something like 8,000 francs, but it ended up costing over 50, so it went eight times over estimate. And as you know, when money gets involved in art, people take notice. So suddenly this rather obscure painter, Franz Haus, whom people had forgotten, was on the front pages because someone had paid over the odds for one of his portraits. And it's to that date that we can trace the beginnings of this picture's fame. It wasn't until later, when it appeared at the Royal Academy in 1888, that it got this name, The Laughing Cavalier. And of course it's a great name, it's a really catchy name, but totally inaccurate. And he's not laughing, and he's not a cavalier. So what is he? Well, that's a very good question. Probably a rich benefactor of France houses from Harlem. But clearly, I think, in terms of his character, a genuinely jovial type. You could have such fun spending time in the pub with him, couldn't you? But when you get close to him in this show, he's not even really smiling, let alone laughing. He's kind of looking down on us, I feel. Almost as if he's judging us. And in most pictures, you look at them. This one feels really strongly as if he's looking at us.